hello friends i welcome you all to our online course of ic engine let me first introduce myself i am subhash subhash jado a faculty from mechanical engineering department and dealing with different courses different subjects related to mechanical engineering since last 25 years coming to the subject ic engine is basically a core subject of mechanical engineering department um the undergraduate students from mechanical engineering and allied its allied branches will find this particular course suitable for their academic process it will be also useful for those related to automobile service sector like professional engineers or uh, practicing engineers the objective of this particular course is to uh, deal with the fundamentals of ic engines with a higher focus on the application of the ic engines the prerequisite for this particular subject is the knowledge of the fundamental subjects like fluid mechanics heat transfer thermodynamics etc with respect to the course content this particular course will be dealt with the many uh, parts in the first part which is introductory one we will be dealing with the introductory ic engine where we will be discussing about the constructional details of the ic engine the materials used for the different parts the applications of the ic engines the engine cycles the wall timing or the pore timing diagram etc in the second part of the subject we will be discussing about the fuel systems used in engines in a si engine fuel systems it basically deals with the carburation under the topic of the carburetor we will be discussing about the, the fundamental or the basic carburetor or elementary carburetor and a complete carburetor the different systems going into the construction for making a, a complete carburetor and its associated theory along with the design of the major dimensions of a carburetor will be discussed we will be also discussing about the recent trends in the si fuel system like mpfi with respect to ci engine fuel systems we will be dealing with the conventional nozzle pump system where we will be discussing about the different types of nozzles the different types of pumps and all associated systems here we will be also discussing about the recent most recent type of ci system fuel system like crdi system that is common rail direct injection system in the combustion in the next part we will be dealing with the combustion in ci engines both in si and ci engines we will be dealing with the different stages of combustion the different factors affecting the combustion to make the combustion process uh, normal or abnormal so in all uh, we will be discussing here uh, how to make a proper combustion as per our requirement and for that what are the different parameters need to be taken into consideration for controlling in the next part we will be dealing with the fuels used in engines both the conventional fuels and alternative fuels will be discussed in detail with their applications in different types of engines or suitability the performance of the engines also will be discussed in detail initially we will be discussing the different performance parameters and their importance and then finally we will be going for the methods for measuring this performance parameters and their analysis we will be also discussing about how to enhance the performance of the engines 
wherein we will be discussing the methods like supercharging and turbocharging. The different subsystems related to engines like the cooling system and lubricating system will be also discussed in detail in this particular part. The emissions of, from the engines is, will be also uh, discussed in detail in this particular subject wherein we will be discussing about the in, uh, emissions from SI engines, their effects and their control methods and similarly the emissions from CI engines, their effect and control methods. So overall we will be discussing about the construction, the fuels, the combustion, the emissions throughout the IC engine subject and uh, that is a uh, overall content of IC engine we are going to cover in this course and I hope uh, you will enjoy this particular course completely to the end. Thank you. Thanks a lot.